Hello, this is Stephanie from apathcpaexam.com. I'd like to tell you more about the REC exam, the syllabus, pass rates, and tips. What does regulation cover? This section covers knowledge of federal taxation, ethics, professional and legal responsibilities, and business law, and the skills needed to apply that knowledge. In other words, it's a combination of taxation, business laws, and ethics. Topic areas and weighting. Here is the breakdown of the syllabus. First, ethics, professional, and legal responsibilities. This includes code of conduct, concept of independence and due care, and legal responsibility and liability. 15 to 19 percent. Second, business law, which include concepts on agency, contracts, data creator relationships, government regulation, and uniform commercial code. 17 to 21 percent. Third, federal tax process, procedures, accounting and planning, that is, cash versus accrual accounting, percentage of completion, completed contract, installment sales, and inventory methods, 11 to 15 percent. Fourth, federal taxation on property transactions, such as types of assets and related tax implications, 12 to 16 percent. Fifth, federal taxation on individuals, this includes gross income inclusion and exclusions, adjustments and deductions, exemptions, AMT, and tax computations, 13 to 19 percent. And lastly, federal taxation on entities, tax reporting for three types of legal entities, that is, sole proprietorship, partnership, and corporation, as well as trusts, 18 to 24 percent. Format of the CPA REC exam. The CPA exam is fully computerized, consisting of multiple choice and task based simulation questions. Effective April 2017, regulation will have five testlets, two testlets with 38 multiple choice questions each, and three testlets with TBS with two to four questions each. The score weighting of multiple choice and TBS is 50 50. You have four hours to take this exam with an optional 15-minute break in between. Historical pass rate. 10 years ago, the pass rate was very low. As you can see from the chart, the pass rate back in first quarter 2005 was a chilling 35%. Since then, the pass rate has been steadily climbing. I don't think the exam is getting easier, but the flexibility from the computerized exam allows candidates to sit for the exam one at a time and it does improve the pass rate of tougher sections. The pass rate dipped in first quarter 2011 when the new exam format kicked in, but has been recovering since. Exam tips. Some people really have problems with tax. I'm one of them. Yes, I absolutely hate regulation, but I managed to get an 84 because I hate it so much that I can't imagine having a retake. If you feel the same, study hard and get it done. You can do it. If you are not great in taxation. It's such a pain to study for the taxation part of regulation, isn't it? But given it represents 60% of the test, there's no way you can get away with it. Here's my solution. Straddle the taxation study with lighter topics. I personally find business law and ethics easier. Note, it's easier, not easy. So whenever I'm done with one part of the taxation, I will treat myself with a section of law or ethics. Break up the study with practice tests. It's hard for me to concentrate on something I don't like, so I break up the study into a smaller, more manageable section by working on the practice questions. You might get most of them wrong on the first try. Don't worry, do them again immediately so the concepts sink in. And the fact that you get more answers correct make you feel better and more energized to move on. If you are good in taxation, that's great, but the flip side for you could be business law and ethics, especially ethics. Some of my friends underestimate the ethics section and bomb the overall exam. This is also one of those objective questions that some candidates just have difficulty dealing with. 
If the performance tracking system shows your weakness in this area, then the best approach for you is to work on many, many practice tests until you understand the concepts inside out. I can't think of any other way to work on this besides repeated practice. Also, don't forget to work on those you got wrong. My strategy is to do the wrong ones at least twice and make sure I understand why I did wrong. That's how I learned and improved my score from the low 60s at the start to 84 in the final exam. I hope this video shows you what you need to know about regulation. If you have any questions, please drop me a note in the comment section below. You may also want to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.